Hello. Hi, everyone. Take a deep, fulfilling breath. You might be inside today. And listen to the sound of our voices. Like we are. As we describe scenes. Maybe you're looking for something to take your mind off of more serious things. Of art. Culture. We'd like to invite you to join us as we describe images of art and culture and anything else that comes to mind when you think of the West, of the West and the Southwest. Southwest. We invite you to draw along with us. Draw along with us. Drawing what you imagine as we describe these scenes for your drawing pleasure. We see a desert scene. The site of the experimentation. A forest fire. Seven horses, but only two riders. Are in the deserts of the moon. Tufts of grass. 100% contained, miles apart from one another, are visible in the foreground. The fire was active in the suburban sprawl off in the distance, a great distance, covering a total of 18,247 acres. It will be okay. Only two and a half of the horses are clearly outlined. In both bronze and ceramic. Mm-hmm. I see it now. The fire. Really in sort of a middle ground. It caused the evacuation of over 32,000 horses. 346 homes and one cowboy hat. Excuse me? Of the seven horses, two can only be seen with their heads popping just above the back of a horse on the left. His structures are very organic. In the center, as though expelled from some central explosion. 453.7 million US dollars. Jeez, man. It's as though an invisible dust devil has thrown them in different directions. This is a dramatic scene. There are many angles and curves. looks as if we're watching a scene from a movie being projected onto the surface of water and a stone has just been dropped in. Wow. Helicopters began dropping water on the fire. The scorching heat and grueling labor are performative rituals, yet also appear from a time beyond the one we live in now. This writer has just lassoed one of the helicopters. There's a line between the rider and helicopters. I don't think I'd like to be lassoed. In the very center, 
this writer with a cowboy hat. A living organism in ways that make it appear modern and timeless. The sky is a gradient. The landscape looked like that of the moon. A flaming deer leaped across the road. Oh my. It's leaning to its right and back, which is our left side of the page. Still in the center, its back legs are bent, its front legs outstretched. No one here cares. That's not much of an affirmation, now is it? You should be proud. On the right we see the horse and rider closest in the foreground. Pigments permeate the earthy surface. The sky takes up the top third of the painting. Two C-130 aircraft from a 300 second airlift wing and made of concrete. It's angled to the left at approximately 35 degrees. No one is judging you. No one is even looking at you. Looking pretty good. Apart from the riders and the horses, there's no one here. The rider wearing a vest, long sleeve white shirt, bandana, Ooh. and a cowboy hat is also trying to balance and stay on top of the horse. Planes dropped US dollars on what they believed was the pyramid from a time beyond the one we live in now. Of some other multi-dimensional existence. On the right side of the page, a mountain air force station encapsulated the same energy as the earth. Why is this image cracked so? Because are these cracks and folds intentional? Don't worry about it. It's okay. Did someone not take care of this image? has ripples and cracks across it, emanating from the upper right-hand corner. Meanwhile, on the left side, there's another horse that is quickly escaping. It knows where it wants to go. Fantastic. The forest fire surpassed it on the sails of wind. This is like a really ridiculous game of chase. While the image is dynamic, it tells a complicated story. 
that's the stuff right there. Wow. How did they get here? Where did they come from? Are they having fun? Thank you.